Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You are watching the Data Science Refresher by Venture Story Education. This is the lecture number nine of the uh, of our flagship course, Hundred Days of Data Science, which is a beginner's course on data science. So, uh, to, uh, before starting today's lecture, I would like you uh, to know that uh, once this lecture uh, comes towards the end, I mean towards the last slide. After that, we are going to have a time series analysis presentation chart that we will showcase to you. And uh, from today's lecture, we are beginning to provide you a little uh, more what you call as analytical view towards the data science. So since we are nearing the end of the introduction, like so the first 10 lectures are introductory lectures. So now what we'll do is slowly and slowly also uh, we'll show you some of the analysis that we have done on uh, some of the data sets and uh, then uh, uh, in, in the, from the 15th or the 16th lecture onwards we will also be uh, making you familiarize with the, uh, how to uh, create that sort of visualizations easily. So let's start today's lecture. This is the uh, beginner's course on data science. 100 days of data science this is venture story education and you're watching the data science refresher <clears throat> the key takeaways so in this uh, today's lecture we are going to continue previous lectures agenda uh, which is we would be making you comfortable with what is data mining what is a data set and we would be also giving you some more analysis and the differentiation between data uh, mining data analysis and uh, data warehousing and then we are also going to take care of the quiz so before starting today's lecture it's time for today's quiz which of the following is not a data mining technique i repeat the question which of the following is not a data mining technique option a is clustering option b is association rule learning option c, c is regression option d is classification and option e is abstraction so you can put your answers in the uh, comment section below and at the end of the video we have the uh, uh, at the end of this particular lecture we have uh, the result of this particular quiz as well so coming to the first slide that is what is data mining so in the previous uh, lecture we got a feedback from a lot of people or a lot of students they said that uh, sir we are not able to understand the concept properly because the language is very difficult so from this lecture onwards we are going to make uh, the language and the definitions we are going to pick up which are easy to learn and uh, uh, it may help you in better note taking and so that the con concepts are more easy uh, uh, to be to understand so what is data mining data mining is the process of understanding data through cle cleaning raw data finding patterns creating models and testing those models so basically what we are going to do in data mining is we are going to understand the data with the help of uh, uh, data cleaning uh, we would be uh, also analyzing some finding some patterns we would be creating a few models and then we would be testing those models uh, data mining will include statistics machine learning and database systems so i hope this is an easy definition which you can learn and you can use for your exams as well as for your interview questions so this is a very good definition that you should learn if you want some other definition we have data mining is the process of finding anomalies patterns and correlations within large data sets to predict outcomes using a broad range of techniques you can use this information to increase revenues cut costs improve customer relationships and reduce risks and more so so it's time for another definition and uh, in simplest words if you want to put data mining it means data mining refers to extracting or mining knowledge for, from large amounts of data so when you have large amounts of data and you want to extract or mine knowledge from it it is called data mining this is the most simplest um, example uh, definition of data mining so coming to the next uh, slide uh, 
so now what we want to understand like with a very simple example like with with we can understand what is data mining with the help of an example so generally the banks use data mining to analyze the transactions which the customers do before the customer decide to change the bank or reduce uh, to reduce customer attrition so uh, like banks have a lot of customers and a lot of customers generate a lot of data so the uh, customers transaction data can actually help uh, the banks to know when a, um, a customer is uh, planning to change the bank and this can help the bank to retain the customer by offering the customer better loans better schemes better services so that the customer might stay with the bank for a longer term so this is the simplest example of what is data mining with the help of an example so uh, now we are going to discuss the five major data mining technique and it also answers the question to your quiz so below are the five data mining techniques that uh, that can help you to create optimal results the first one is classification analysis the second one is association rule learning the third one is anomaly or outlier dis, uh, detection the fourth one is clustering analysis and the fifth one is regression analysis so in this uh, these five of uh, techniques data mining techniques we didn't find uh, a technique called as data abstraction so the answer to the quiz is option number e we will also discuss this particular quiz in detail so these are the five um, particular uh, techniques that can help you in optimal uh, creating optimal results uh, and these are the five major important data mining techniques so coming to the next slide data mining versus data warehouse so a data warehouse is a database system which is designed for analytical analysis instead of transactional work data mining is the process of analyzing data patterns data is stored periodically and data is analyzed regularly so uh, if uh, the simplest uh, definition uh, when we should come to your mind when you have uh, you uh, somebody asks you the question like what is the difference between data mining and what is the difference between data warehousing so the data warehouse is a database system which is designed for analytical analysis instead of transactional work and data mining is the process of analyzing design patterns so this is the major uh, difference between the two data mining and data warehousing that is data warehouse stores the data and data mining is all about finding the relevant uh, insights and information our mining knowledge from the data as you call it so now it's time to discuss about the data mining software so from this point onwards this particular slide and the few slides that are coming forward coming for further so uh, we have to understand that uh, these are just the ones that i could find on internet these these are a few softwares that are generally used in data mining and uh, you can skip if you want uh, a few of the softwares if you don't like and we would just be giving a, a you a brief overview on uh, on the data mining software so that whenever uh, la later on in your career you would be using a few of the softwares so then um, you have a fair idea of what a particular software does just like uh, k uh, k9 uh, it is like an information miner it is user friendly and uh, has a comprehensive data analysis framework then next is moa massive online analysis it is a real time big data stream mining uh, with concept drift tool in java programming language then there is mepx which is a cro cro cross platform tool for regression classification problems uh, based on a genetic uh, programming variant then we have the ml pack it is written in c++ you have the nltk nltk you are going to use because it is one of the most important tools when it comes to artificial intelligence uh, sorry uh, data science mm, and also data mining so nltk is natural language toolkit so it is a suite of libraries uh, it also can help you in natural language processing for python then you have the open nn which helps you with the open neural networks library and then you have the orange which is a component based data mining and machine learning software suite written in python coming to the next uh, part then we have the pspp 
mm, it is similar to SPSS. We have R. It is uh, R or R Studio. It is a programming language and a software environment for statistical computing, determining, and graphics. It is a part of the GNU project. So the this particular uh, uh, software, or you can call it the programming language R, uh, is going to be used as an uh, uh, side language or the main language, whichever you pr uh, prefer to be. Uh, uh, when it comes to you know data science. Then you have the uh, scikit-learn. Uh, it is an open source machine learning library for Pro Python. Then you have Torch. Torch is an open source deep learning library for Lua programming language and scientific computing framework with wide support for machine learning algorithms. Then you have the UIMA. UIMA stands for Unstructured Information Management Architecture. It is a component framework for analyzing unstructured content such as text, audio, video and it was originally developed by IBM. Then you have the Veka. Veka is a suite for machine learning software applications written in Java. So these are the important uh, softwares. Uh, now we are, uh, we are coming to the proprietary softwares like sometimes they are paid and sometimes they are um, uh, generally they are paid. So these are the ones which you generally use in enterprises. Uh, for example, you have the NGOS Knowledge Studio, which is a data mining tool. You have the Line Solver, uh, which is an integrated software application for data mining, business intelligence, and modeling. Then you have the Poly Analyst, which is data and text mining software. Then you have the Microsoft Anal Analysis Services, which is data mining software provided by Microsoft. Then you have the Net Owl, which is the suite for multilingual mm, text and entity analytics. Then you have the Oracle data mining, which is the data mining software by Oracle. Then the in this list, we have SaaS Enterprise Miner, which is a data mining software by SaaS Institute. Then you have the SPSS, uh, which is a data mining software by IBM. Then you have the Statistical Data Miner, which is data mining software by Statstoff. Then you have the Tanagra, which is uh, visualization oriented data mining software it can also be used for teaching then you have the vertica which is data mining software provided by hp then you have the gcp that is the google cloud platform and you have amazon SageMaker, which is a managed service by, provided by amazon for creating and uh, product uh, productionizing custom ml models so data mining research so when it comes to research and data mining, the premier professional body in the field is Association of Computing Machinery, ACM. ACM, you must be knowing. Uh, and, and there is special interest group on knowledge uh, uh, discovery and data mining. Since 1989, this ACM SIG has hosted an annual international conference and published its proceedings uh in a bi academic uh, biannual academic journal called SIGKDD explorations so uh, and when it comes to the conferences the important conferences are CIKM conference which is by IBM uh, sorry ACM and you also have the European conference on machine learning and principles and practice of knowledge discovery in databases then you also have the KDD conference which is by ACM itself again so uh, it's time for the quiz and correct option is E. Uh, data abstraction is not part of uh, uh, the is not part or is not a machine learning technique. Abstraction is generally a, a OOPS principle, OOPS concept, and uh, it does not fit as a data mining technique. So uh, I hope you liked uh, today's lecture as well as the quiz. Um, so if any of your relative or you yourself are uh, looking for a government job in India, you can go uh, for, um, you know, uh, Sarkari Result and Jobs.com. It helps you to get authentic government jobs, exams and result notifications on your mobile device very easily. The link is also in the description. So now, uh, before ending this video, we are going this lecture, we are going to provide you a particular short video which depicts the uh, uh, our time series uh, visualization that I have done uh, to show uh, to you um, and it would be regarding the word population.